Good morning, scholars. Happy Fine Art Friday. Just kidding. I know it's not Friday, but it's okay. Every day can be a Fine Art Friday, and I like saying Fine Art Friday. Um, so today I'm going to have five videos for you. I know, it's a lot. Three are little projects, and two are longer projects. Um, I wanted to show you a little bit of the projects that we are going to do and just tell you about them. Mm -hmm. This is the same intro that's going to be on all of the videos, so you will see me telling you this story at the beginning of all of these five videos. So first project, Easter's coming up, so we're going to make some Easter eggs. They're made out of cardboard Easter eggs, so this is a Dr. Pepper cardboard and we paint them and color them and then you can hide them all over the house and go for an easter egg hunt if you want. Um, I also did, I made so many of these, um, easter egg monsters. I made about a carton worth of easter egg monsters. And they're all silly, they're all different. And you can also, they are also made with cardboard from Dr. Pepper or any soda, also made out of cereal boxes. Um, it's because Easter is coming up and I wanted to do something, uh, for the holiday. Um, I am, I know some of you might not celebrate it. It's okay, you don't have to do it. That's why I also included three other projects. Um, I'm also doing something called Kindness Rocks. So I saw this on the news. A lady in Fort Worth started doing it with her kids. They go around the neighborhood and they collect rocks and then they write happy special messages on them or they decorate them and then they put them back out into their neighborhood so it gives the people around um, their neighborhood something worth smiling over. So it's a fun project. You can go on a little nature walk, pick up some rocks, go home, color, paint them, or ride on them, and then put them back out into the neighborhood. And this kind of helps spread kindness and happiness and joy. We all need extra of that right now. So that's um, another little project. I'm also doing something called Quilling Clouds, so it's paper quilling and we're doing it with clouds. Um, it's, an easier pr it's, it's an easy project, it takes some time though, and um, some hand skills, but um, yeah, so the directions for this are on there too. Um, and the last project I'm doing, something that I'm going to start doing every week, it's called a Draw and Tell Story. So the draw and tell story, um, I read a story to you guys, and together we draw a picture that represents something in the story or um, has to tie back into the story in a way. So I thought that one was really cool. It's a short video, and it's pretty fun. And then it's just kind of cool to see how you can uh, tell a story and make a piece of art with it, artwork with it. So those are the projects we're doing this week. Um, I also wanted to let you know that if you send in your artwork um, via Dojo, send in a picture of your artwork to me, you will be invited to eat breakfast with the specials team on Wednesday. So again, I'm sending these out today. It's Monday. And if you send me um, your artwork, I believe you will be able to eat breakfast with us next Wednesday. So everyone who sent it to me in the past week will eat with breakfast with us this Wednesday. Everyone who sends it to me this week will eat with us next Wednesday. So we're like going forward a week. Um, also, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm thinking about you all the time. Uh, I miss you a lot. I miss all your, just your silliness, you know, and I miss having you around and it's, you know, it's hard. It's hard for everybody. But art is a good way to deal with those feelings. It's also a good way to express yourself. If you're having a hard time at home and you can't really talk to anybody, maybe draw a picture. Um, we're going to do some collage in the future videos and maybe an art journal. We can do something like that where you kind of have your own private art journal where you put your thoughts and you draw your pictures on how you feel without feeling that anyone's going to judge them or kind of make you feel bad for having those feelings and thoughts. There's nothing wrong with how you feel. It's just expressing yourself in a positive way. And if you need anything, I'm always on Dojo. We also have uh, virtual uh, office hours on Mondays from 8.30 to 9. So uh, we send out a Zoom account code 
and you kind of log in and we all kind of chit chat um, on Mondays 8 30 to 9. We also had a movie night last week. It was very successful. We watched Charmander. It was super fun. Um, yeah, just, we miss you guys. We're trying to do things to help you uh, see our faces a little bit more, too. We know it's hard. It's hard for us, too. We've never done this before. We're learning every day, just like you guys. If there's anything you need, don't hesitate to let me know. Um, have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing your amazing artwork. Bye. All right. So today we're going to do something called quilled clouds. You're going to need scissors, a pencil, glue, a ruler, an eraser, and some paper. You can use computer paper, construction paper, anything you have. And if you want to do it like me, you can. I painted my papers already. Or you can decorate them with crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you like. But the first step is to decorate the paper. When you're done with that, you're going to use your ruler and you're going to draw lines along your paper. You could do the thickness of the ruler. This is a really thick ruler and I did this one with a not so thick ruler. So if you need to learn, to, if you want to learn how to use a ruler, we can do it on this paper because it hasn't been done yet. I'm going to hold the ruler up to the edge and then I'm going to hold it down and mark it with my pencil. And that I'm just using the thickness of the ruler so I'm not really measuring anything. And then I'm going to come back here, hold this edge of the ruler straight against the mark I already made and draw another one. Remember to hold down the ruler and so on and so forth until you get to the edge of the paper. You hold it down so it doesn't move. Maybe your ruler is smaller than mine, that's fine. I think you want to keep them all similar lengths, similar thicknesses, widths, just so it helps your cloud kind of stay uniform. So when you are done painting, when you are done marking up your lines, then you are going to cut along those edges. So you can use one paper to start with, you can use two, it's really up to you. So you're going to cut along those lines with your scissors. And just follow the line, do the best you can until all of your paper is cut. So this one, these are some, so I had my samples ready. Well, Missy's magic, and then turns the white paper to blue paper. No, I had these samples done already. But, so now that I have all of my strips cut, I'm going to get the glue, and we're going to start. So you guys are going to use the pencil to wrap the paper around. And you want to make sure the painted part, or the decorated part, is on the outside of the pencil. So you don't want it inside, you want it on the outside. You can hold it with your fingers, and then you are just going to roll it up. And there's one. And you can alternate the colors if you want to just do a little bit at a time. I'm going to start off with five, I believe. Kind of push it down. So it stays in the shape, the rounded shape of the pencil. My pencil is kind of thick too, so if you wanted to, you could use a thinner pencil or whatever you have. You can use a pen. You can use anything, really. So paper quilling, people get really tiny with paper quilling. It looks really beautiful all the different art there is with paper quilling. If you guys want to, you can check it out just by googling paper quilling artwork. And it's really cool. People make different shapes with the paper, um, and then they make big old pictures with those shapes. So it's pretty phenomenal to see. Um, I'm not going to show you a sample 
because I um, haven't figured out how to do that yet. But I'm going to um, show you the ones that I've made when we're done. But I've just made other clouds, so it's going to kind of stick to the clouds. So from here, you're going to decide how um, tight you want the curl to be. So this one's kind of loose, right? If you wanted it tighter, you could just kind of hold it, pull it closer, and go on. But that doesn't really look like a swirl. It just looks like a circle. So kind of just play with it. If you want it to be a swirl, so now we're going to glue. And you're just going to put a little bit of glue. And then you're going to put it where you want it to go. And you're going to hold that one down. And we hold things down for 10 seconds, so I'm holding it with my fingers really tightly. So I'm going to count to 10 really quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And since it's liquid glue, it might not um, dry as quickly as a uh, stick glue. And that's fine. If you have a glue stick instead of the liquid glue, that works perfectly fine too. So now I have that part. And now I'm going to decide how much I want it to go in. So how much of a swirl I want. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to come back over here. Put a little bit more glue. And hold this side down for another 10 seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's what I'm going to do for all of these. Alright? So at this point, you can kind of do it how you like. If you want bigger, looser curls, that's perfectly fine and very cool. If you want tighter ones, that's cool too. You just kind of play with it. There's no right or wrong way. You just want a variety of different ones. So maybe, so this one I'm going to make bigger, right? So I'm making a variety. So variety means having different, different types of one thing. So we will have different um, tightnesses of our spirals in this paper. So you're going to do that for all of these. And then when we have all of them done, we're going to add them together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we were supposed to make these in, um, I think, 4th and 5th grade this year, but I thought you can still probably do it at home since it doesn't really take that much, materi that, that much materials and it's not very, very difficult to do. If you get confused, you can always rewind my videos and watch them again. So this. We we're going to make these for the installation wall with all of your guys' hot air balloons. We we're going to put clouds. We we're doing two different types of clouds. We we're going to do cardboard clouds and these uh, quilt art clouds. Maybe Missy will show you the cardboard clouds also. That one's a little different. But it's okay. You don't think we're going to have our art show this year, but it's okay. I'm going to do everything in my power to get all of your artwork back to you, um, but that'll probably happen closer to May. But until then, you guys can still make some of the projects. Some of them I'm probably not going to show since they require different materials, and I don't want you guys to have to go and get things that you can't find around your house. This one, like I said, could be done with white paper, um, so it's really and then you could just draw. You don't have to paint it, you can draw it. But yeah, do the best you can. These ones are pretty fun. It's cool to see an abstract form of a cloud. So abstract means non-representational. It means you can't really it's not exactly what it should be. So it's an abstract cloud. So it's non-representational of the cloud. But you are going for that image. That is the subject matter in which you want to go for. 
So I have one more to do, and then I'm going to show you how to put them together. If you guys have any questions, you can always email me um, through Dojo. We have office hours on Monday, so we just finished our office hours. I'm doing this video on Monday, so you guys can watch it throughout the week. But we have office hours um, through Zoom on Mondays, where you can come and chit-chat with us and ask any questions or show artwork. If you do send in your pictures of your artwork, you will be sent a link to eat breakfast with the specials team on Wednesday. And that would be fun, too. Okay, so I did a little bit more. I wanted to just, um, I wanted us to have a little bit more, but I didn't want you guys to have to wait. Also, I wanted to show you what happens if you only glue the edge. So I'm just gluing the edge down. And there's nothing wrong with that, you can do that too. But you'll have to curl the inside. So if I do the edge, it just kind of looks like that. If you, but, so you'll have to take the inside edge and just kind of curl it a little bit more, and so it'll open up. See, Missy didn't show you that right. So I am just curling it, twisting it up. and then it'll kind of open up to a spiral. So now that we have all of our quills, we are going to glue them together. And so it just kind of, you pick one and you start. I'm gonna quill along, I'm gonna glue them, excuse me, along the edge, just so they get reinforced. And then again, I'm holding them down for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe if it comes apart, you can do it again for 10 more seconds. And then you're just going to start adding to it. And that's really all that we're doing. And so when you add to it, this one's getting glued in two places, so I put more glue. When you add to it, it'll together um, turn into a non-representation of a cloud. So that means it's not a realistic cloud, but it's still an abstract cloud. And so you just keep going until all of these pieces are glued. And it's up to you. You can put them however you want. You can build off of them. Just make sure you hold it, the glue area down so that they can, they can adhere to each other nicely so they don't fall apart like Missy's just did. So hold it, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then you can keep adding. And the more you add to it, the more it looks like a cloud. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'll show you some of the ones that I made earlier in the year. I think I showed some classes, the samples. Let's see, is that close enough. Well, let's see. You just want to make sure you're holding it down. I know you can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm just pinching where the glue is, but I have two seams or two areas that have glue, so I'm using both hands. So far so good, and I'm going to build off this way. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. We miss you so much. We are very excited that we get to do videos with you. And we've been doing breakfast, and um, we had a movie night. And that was really cool. We watched one of Missy's favorite TV shows, uh, Pokemon, the Indigo League, because it is the best Pokemon show. What? Indigo League all the way. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so our cloud is moving along. Let me put that one right there. We watched the story about Charmander. Missy's told some of you guys the story of Charmander during um, our community circle, but we got to watch it. So we had about 10 kids who had their popcorn and had all of their stuff, and they were watching the Charmander story with us. So slowly you see this cloud coming to represent a actual cloud. It looks more like what we were going for. I'm going to have to put a little bit more over here since it has two places it's going to glue. And then hold it down, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so this is a pretty simple process. You just kind of add wherever you want it. Maybe you want it there. I don't know, should I do it there? You can just kind of play with it, see where you think that it would best. Ooh, I think I want it there. Just think, you know, just play with composition. Composition is going to be how you put your artwork together and how you see or where you want things to go. So composition, I don't think Miss Easy ever even told you guys that word before, but composition is used in art every time you finish a piece or make a piece. You're thinking about where you want something to go, you're thinking about how you want it to look, you have an idea and a plan, and that kind of goes with composition. I kind of messed that guy up a little bit, but... Hmm. Count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And ta-da, we are done with our cloud. I'm going to set it aside because it's pretty fragile until it dries. Once it dries, it'll be a little bit more, you know, stronger. So we're just going to put it over there. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that I made. So this one, I made this one. It got a little squished when I brought it home. But you can just, paper is very um, forgiving, so you just kind of shape it with your hands how you want it to go. But I use the same colors, and so it kind of has, so you put the paint on the outside so you can see it, and then it kind of shows you the two tones, so the color of the construction paper and the paint. It's pretty cool. And then I'm going to hang them in my house, and then I think I have, this one got very, very squish. I should have fixed them before I'm showing them to you. I'm sorry. But so all clouds are different shapes and sizes, and so I want you guys to kind of play with that too. This one doesn't really look as wispy as the one that we just made. It's supposed to be like, and these ones I didn't glue on the inside also, so these ones all would have had to been curled to keep those shapes. See? So since I didn't glue the inside one, I can still move it, but I like the way that ours came out more than this one, especially since it got all squished. And this one's also another one that got squished, but similar. I didn't glue the inside loops, so you guys can still go back through and shape them if you wanted to. I, th I like it better when I think when they are glued so if they do get squished they don't go back to a normal circle. Alright, I hope you guys had fun and I would love to see your quilled clouds or maybe any other quilling you guys decide to do. Remember quilling is just when you wrap the paper around a shape and you make a picture out of it. So we went for clouds. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing your art. Bye!